seems like every man, woman, and child in Japan is on drugs. Have you ever really paid attention to an episode of Iron Chef? Those people love to eat ovaries. You can't stop them. They consider fat men wrestling to be an ancient and sacred art, which it totally is. And they will put Hello Kitty's face on anything. Anything. Luckily, the nation that seems to be leading the world in the production of Whimsy has produced a sequel to the strange yet addictive Katamari Damashi. Here's our review of We Love Katamari. About a year ago, a quirky little game with almost no publicity behind it whatsoever called Katamari Damashi captured the attention and hearts of the entire gaming world. Overnight, the king found himself a superstar. The adulation of the crowd knew no limits. So how do you follow up an unexpected hit that prides itself on its uniqueness? The king is so cool! Self-referentialism, of course. Oh dear, such a chorus. Fans crying out from all over the world for the magnificent king to do his thing. His thing indeed. As Katamari fans know, the king soaks up all the adulation while the prince does all the work. This time, the little prince has help in the form of cousins, second cousins, and other royal relations. If green isn't your thing, the rolling relatives come in a variety of shapes and colors. It doesn't really look any better or play any different, but We Love Katamari graces us with amazing new levels in which to wreak roll-up havoc. More stages have specific themes, and the objectives vary beyond just roll up a really big ball of things. Roll your flaming Katamari around a campsite, torching the scenery and terrifying campers. Venture underwater and abuse sea life, but watch out for the fishermen's hooks or you'll be reeled in, wasting precious time. Invade a fantastic gingerbread land and roll up a candy-coated house brick by delicious brick. Or collect a hundred students as you rampage through a school building. Interesting to note that, due to the king's newfound fame, it's likely that everyone being rolled up in We Love Katamari is fully aware of their eventual fate, to be burned up into incandescent cosmic matter. That's why they're screaming. Along the way, you'll uncover the history of the king of all cosmos, learn of his strict upbringing. His brief stint as a delinquent crime fighter. And that fateful day when a severed pompadour and half a loaf of bread would lead to love at first sight. The addictive versus mode allows for friendly competition and even the occasional opportunity to roll up your rival. The co-op mode makes two players share a single Katamari. Be warned, for every peaceful co-op session you play, five others will degenerate into fist fights. Looks like we'll have to wait for next gen sequel to really take the audio visual elements of Katamari beyond what the PS2 games offer. While the wackiness and addictive gameplay remain intact, we love Katamari drops the ball as far as advancements go. In other words, a four out of five. The game is so cute and charming. Whatever happened to the old Japan, the super serious samurai ritually killing himself because he made a key flower arranging error in Japan? I guess no one really cares about honor when you've got adorable ball rolling. You're all hopped up for me and a bunch of raw ovaries.